video. It's Amanda here with your November 2018 RuneScope. This month in conjunction with our runes, I will be using the Paulina Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. Uh, then as always, be sure to join me for part two of your November reading over on my Vimeo channel. I will be shuffling and interpreting one card from the Viking cards oracle. This is by Gudrun Bergman and Olafur Gudlaxen. They mesh very well, obviously, with our Viking runes. So yeah, check that out. You'll find the link below in the description box. Uh, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I do encourage you to watch the videos for months that are already completed because that way you can tell if I am connecting with your energy. If I am, please do click the subscribe button. That will ensure that uh, my content goes to your subscription feed each month. But let's jump in and see which runes would like to be cast for my Leos. November 2018, what's going on with Leo? Leo, November 2018. Ooh. Had quite a handful there that wanted to come out, Leo. As always, keep in mind these are general free sample readings, if you will. So not all of these messages will be for you. I can't connect and give each of you a private reading. Uh, there are thousands of you watching. So yeah, it's... Uh, a few messages here, a few messages there. Um, others are gonna be for other Leos that are watching. You can always check out the video for your rising sign as well. Sometimes your entire, like the whole month will be, you know, for you. If I don't get you here in your sun sign, it'll be coming through in your rising sign. Um, maybe more messages or clarification. But if you would like something all about you, your personal circumstances and relationships, you would definitely need to set up a private session. Uh, it's the only way I can get really um, succinct outcomes and uh, especially the players, the people in your life um, by just connecting with your energy. You can always just drop me a line at runescopes for you at gmail.com to set up your appointment. I do private sessions on Skype for $70. But in general, Leo, Let's see what's going on here. Challenge or focus for November. That's where we always start. So the card here we have is Four of Swords. With the runes coming up here. Well, the Four of Swords is about retreating, taking a time out. Um, and with these runes, it's like after an argument, after a battle, retreating after some unexpected disagreement. Um, Rhino in reverse can be miscommunication, so it can be healing a situation. Like, okay, this was miscommunicated. We had crossing of the wires. So now we've got to fix this. Uh, we do have Mercury retrograde in November. Aren't we happy to have yet another Mercury retrograde. Gosh, we just haven't had enough retrograde planets this year. Um, yeah, Venus is retrograde in November, and then as soon as it goes direct, Mercury uh, goes retrograde, and I think that's happening mid-November. Uh, so, um, you or someone else could be retreating from an argument. Uh, this can sometimes be someone ghosting you rather than continuing the fight or, or just um, not responding anymore. Um, walking away from an argument. So it could be you doing that or uh, someone else, Leo. And, um, but it may be challenging to retreat from this for you uh, because this is coming up as your challenge. Like you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want, but it's like just, you know, maybe you feel like I have to have the last word. I'm not gonna let this, you know, oh, something really has your ire up here. And again, that's where it's going to be different for all of you, whatever, whoever and whatever. I mean, we do have one person here, so we may get a clue about who this is, but um, it has to do with something kind of out of left field with Hagalas. It's not something you're expecting. So maybe it's not somebody you, you usually argue with, or it's not, it's just not something you're expecting to deal with. Um, and with Mercury retrograde in play, that can certainly happen more often than not. So uh, it's not surprising. Um, 
For others of you, you may just want to retreat. Maybe you were wanting to take some time off, take some vacation, just have some quiet time. But people keep, you know, you keep having to put out fires. These unexpected issues keep coming up. For some of you, maybe that's your job. Like you, you are, um, like you, you're in customer service, or or, or you work with. Uh, the public in some way and so there's always something that you have to do or maybe you are like the QA the problem solver the person who comes in to kind of take care of you're the manager the the one that everybody kind of uh, you're on call if you're like a doctor or, or uh, you know um, some of you some of you may be like uh, I'm seeing like a call center maybe you work for like the emergency services you're like the 911 operator um, Cause this is like, this is kind of what I'm seeing is like this image of, I'm just going to go in today, have kind of a chill day. Maybe it's the, you know, the week of Thanksgiving, if you work here in the States or, um, it's just maybe a time during the week when it's normally pretty chill or more of a relaxed day. And you go in that day thinking, Oh, it'll be kind of slow today. I can catch up on some things or just kind of chill and listen to my music while I work. And, and then suddenly this unexpected, like, you know, I got to go put this out. I got to go talk to this person. Got to go rectify this situation. So if it's coming in with work, that's the kind of feeling I get um, with this. Do be careful driving when I've got the, the one of the cards of healing coming up next to a travel rune in reverse. Uh, do be extra vigilant. Again, it would be unexpected though, but keep your eye on the other guy. Make sure you're paying attention, Leo. Don't be on your phone. Don't text and drive. Don't do dumb stuff. <laughs> okay, because with Hagalas there, you'll look up and, you know, you'll be in someone's trunk before you know it. Be, be extra, extra careful in the month of November. Whenever Mercury's retrograde. Accident, do accidents happen when Mercury's not retrograde? Of course they do. But, you know... I kind of feel like they're more likely to happen to people who, you know, are either really good drivers or maybe you've got a clean record or it's been a really long time, maybe since you were a teenager, since you've been in an accident. Those are the ones that when Mercury retrograde kind of kicks up that have to be, you know, because it can, it can challenge even the best of us when it's uh, out of sorts like that. Um, others of you, this is just an argument, a disagreement. You may have to go somewhere unexpectedly that you don't want to go and you were just looking forward to a quiet weekend. Um, maybe you were like not going to go, those of you in the States, for Thanksgiving, and the, but then may, you, like your kids want to go to Thanksgiving and see their grandparents or they want to... Maybe somebody wants to go somewhere else. Maybe you're used to having the dinner at your house, but your kids are like, well, I want to go over to Tommy's house or I want to go... I want to go with dad's family if you're not uh, with their other parent. It could be something like that. And um, you know what may upset you, Leo? Um, so it'll be challenging for you to retreat, but that is going to be the best course of action. Like if they want to spend Thanksgiving with another parent, you may have to work it out, rework out the holidays if they normally are with you or, or something like that. There may have to be something worked out. You may have to talk to somebody that you don't normally want to talk to to work it out. Um, in the present energy, we do have the Queen of Swords. So this could be this person that you have the argument or disagreement with for some of you, but she's coming up in the upright. So that would normally not be a negative influence um, or somebody who is normally difficult for you. But again, this is unexpected, an unexpected argument. So this could be an air sign person, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or somebody with those traits. It could be you if you have a rising air sign. Um, or a lot of air in your chart, but this is somebody delivering the truth. Um, but in a very blunt way. And in these general readings, these court cards can be male or female. I don't know if I mentioned that. So this, for some of you, this will be a female. For others of you, this will be a male. This is somebody delivering a harsh truth. Like this is coming to an end. This is over. But you're happy about this. Wunyo. 
And this is the position of the present. So for some of you, this will be whenever you're watching this video. For others of you, this could be the end of October into early November-ish. Um, could be the energy kind of swirling around you. For some of you, this is someone you haven't spoken with in quite some time, maybe because you had an argument and they retreated or you retreated. And uh, if somebody's coming back to, for some of you, this is the ex, this is the partner that the kids are wanting to go stay with or be with or whatever. And maybe you've avoided talking to each other, but you do kind of like, uh, you know, it's not as bad as you think it's gonna be or, or it's, it's, it's gonna be okay. It's like they, I'm seeing you being happy with the way this works out. Um, or the queen of swords, the swords person is happy with the way things work out. But it's like Esau is here. So it's like either somebody or a situation you've been divorced from or separated from. Uh, it ended, you, you did all you were supposed to do together and either you or this other person is happy about that. Um, Wunyo is about um, being glad that something is over or ended or that you no longer have to deal with that energy, with that person, with that uh, stress. Um, Some of you may be ending something with someone else so you can be with this air sign. Or you're like, I'm not, maybe it's you, Leo, but like, I'm not going to go where I normally go for the holiday this year, or I'm not going to, I'm not going to do what I normally do. I'm going to go be with my new person's family, or I'm going to go somewhere else. And they are really happy about this. And, but your family may not be so happy about this. So, whew. Somebody's really, really happy that they're not that, uh, you know, an argument or disagreement is over with or even a relationship or some sort of interaction is over with. And it could be you and it could be the other person. The help that's going to be available, we do have the Three of Swords. So this is an odd card to get uh, for the help here because this card is all about... Um, betrayal, lies cheating and and a heart being broken basically uh but it's coming up as a help with the rune of iwas so it's saying here and you may be healing from heartbreak because you do have the four of swords here um leo you or someone else may be trying to heal from this from a breakup, from a divorce, from a separation, from a bad argument you had with someone. Um, but I was is saying like this was supposed to happen. You are, you know, on the path you're supposed to be on because this has strong powers of protection. It means you are connected to your spirit guides. They are guiding you. They're gonna guide you through this. For, for uh, others of you, this is like something you think is a betrayal or that someone's deceiving you or lying to you in some way. That's not the case. Be patient. Don't overreact. Don't jump to a conclusion. Don't jump to conclusions, Leo. Wait until you have all the facts. Because that's another way this can work out. It's like you think someone has done something and then you find out, what are you talking about? No, that's not. I mean, you know, you have this big blow up and this argument and then this person is like, I don't know what you're talking about. So maybe you are misinterpreting something. Again, jumping to conclusions. Uh, making a mountain out of a molehill here at Leo. Someone else could be doing that to you as well. Maybe you were accused of something that you didn't do. And uh, now if you are being lied and now if you're the one that's cheating or lying, it's kind of tricky here, Leo, because some of you could be cheating on your mate or lying and deceiving somebody and that will be protected in November for some of you. But, you know, if you're, if you're lying and cheating on someone, it's time to consider why am I still with this person? Um, 
because it seems over. If that's the case, it's like you've, you left this relationship a long time ago, but just, I don't know, feel beholden to this person or feel like you can't get away from them. Hmm. But yeah, don't jump to conclusions. I feel like that's the biggest one for most of you. Like you're you're misinterpreting something, which would go along with Mercury retrograde. Uh, what must be accepted? We do have the Nine of Wands in reverse. And this rune, Uru's in reverse. Let's see what's coming through with this. I feel like you're no longer going to wait for somebody to get it together. You're tired of waiting on somebody to get it together or get it right, or they're tired of waiting on you. And maybe that's what sparks this argument. Um, or I'm tired of waiting on somebody to grow up. Maybe that's why, for those of you that have found Soleil somewhere else or found a new partner, maybe that's why you did that. Because you, the person that you're with just isn't stepping up. Um, I don't know, you kind of view them as inferior to you in some way or that, you know, it's like, I took pity on you being with you. Like I could have done so much better and you know, I, but I thought you would step up or improve. And I know that sounds very arrogant and, but I, you know, I, with these runes and this coming up, it's like, not that this person is inferior, but that's how you view them. Again, I'm reading Leo's. This reading is for Leo's. If you're mated to a Leo, if you're in a relationship with a Leo, this reading is for them, not for you. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying that everybody who's with a Leo is inferior, but they could view you that way, whether you are or not. And they could just have self-esteem issues. Um, but this could be you too. Some of you Leos, it could be you, that you feel inferior. And that's why maybe you you uh, have found someone who's like more on your level or that you can relate to. Because again, these general readings, so many different ways the energy is working based on your specific circumstances. But um, somebody's not waiting anymore. I'm not going to wait on this person to put in the effort to get it together, to uh you know become the partner i want and need i because i found that in someone else either you or the person that you're with is saying that or feeling that way in november um and it may come to a head uh with this argument and for some of you it may just be a temporary feeling this way leo because again remember some of you are you're misconstruing something you think somebody's betrayed you but they really haven't so you got to do some digging or wait for the facts to be unveiled before you jump to a conclusion, Leo. The outcome, though, is the two of pentacles in reverse. So this is um, breaking a contract, um, two people together that are no longer going to be together, division of assets, it can be a divorce. Um, Yeah, I mean, we've got partnership on the table with Gifu, but I think many of you, if you're breaking up or divorcing or leaving someone, either you or they, maybe both of you have a new partner you're going to. Um, some of you may even be like introducing this person to your friends, to your family in November. Um, so it's like a simultaneous, I'm dropping one and I'm immediately picking up the other. Or you may feel like that's being done to you here, Leo. And for some of you, that may be the case. For others of you, that's not what's happening at all. But you may ruin a relationship or at least cause a big row, a big argument and stress when there doesn't need to be any. Um, those of you that are recently divorced and are actually just happy to be away from this, you're healing getting over uh, a betrayal, getting over, you know, and maybe it's, maybe it has been a blow to your self-esteem. You felt um, defeated or, or felt like, you know what, the, you know, I'm, I, uh, I'm glad I'm out of that, but at the same time, it's kind of a blow to the ego. Maybe you're taking it like a failure when 
you know, not everybody we meet in this life is supposed to be forever. It's just not, you know, uh, and if we stay with the wrong person, we, we never meet the right person who we contracted to, uh, to meet before we came here. So it's, it's important that these phases end when they're supposed to end. These chapters end when they're supposed to end. Um, So yeah, some of you, like you are ending one situation and it may be finalizing it. Maybe you're making it legal in November, the divorce is final, or you're legally separated, or you're, you're moving out of the house, or they are. And um, a family or a friend or even a coworker may be trying to hook you up with someone else. And it may be this swords person. For some of you, this swords person isn't going to be uh negative for all of you they're they're going to be uh a new partner for you so yeah you leos could be interested or hooking up with or be introduced to an air sign again gemini aquarius or libra uh, sun or rising in the month of november who you really have a lot in common with uh, like so if somebody's wanting to set you up or if there's like a, a get together or a group and somebody's like trying to kind of maybe introduce you to someone or set you up, give it a shot, Leo, because you may find uh, a lot of you that they get it right. Um, I see it more as like a group activity. So maybe you are invited, maybe your family's inviting someone to Thanksgiving dinner. I feel like you'll get a heads up though. I feel like knowing what you've been through, they're not just gonna spring it on you. Although somebody might, I mean. There are all different kinds of people around and some people think that's a great idea. Oh, I know this single person and now this person's single. I'm just gonna throw them together and see what happens. I'm gonna surprise them. Oh. Some people like that, some people don't. I don't know, Leo, You're, you you can go with that. I mean, you know, you, you can pretty much um, handle anything that gets thrown at you in that kind of a scenario. So you'll be fine, but I think most of you will get a heads up. Uh, others of you, you're invited to a party, you're invited to an event, or or uh, somebody's like, hey, I got this friend I want you to meet, but it'll be like a group thing, so you don't have to feel, feel put on the spot. Give it a shot. You know, if you want to see a picture beforehand, go ahead. But yeah, this is kind of like an old-fashioned setup. It could be through somebody's Facebook. I mean, you could be like getting a link or like, hey, my like a friend of a friend that way, but... I'm not getting the, the indications that I normally get when something is online or electronic. So um, I really feel like this is like a good old fashioned soiree, a good old fashioned party. Somebody's playing matchmaker, um, you know. But others of you, this is just like you're ending one relationship because you've got this person that you really wanna be with. You, you um we're ready to end this other chapter and start anew, and you may be introducing them to uh, your extended circle, your family, your friends, your kids, uh, et cetera. So, but those of you that are meeting someone new through a setup or through uh, someone you already know, uh, it could be quite solid for a while. It could even lead to marriage. Gifu is the rune of long-term partnerships something quite serious. So give it a shot. It could work out for uh, for many of you here, Leo. But that's what I see for November. Your reading was pretty much cut and dry this month. Um, but yeah, meet me over on Vimeo. I'm going to shuffle our Viking cards. I wanna see what further insight, wisdom, and advice they can give you for how to deal with these energies during November. Good luck with that, Leo. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you back here next time.